And today, lawmakers finished up their first week with a rare Saturday session, sending multiple bills to the governor's desk. Two of those bills focused on redrawing congressional and legislative boundaries, which happens once every 10 years following the census. The Commonwealth's six congressional districts will see major changes in eastern and western Kentucky, but the third district, held by John Yarmouth, will remain largely intact. The new map also combines four House districts, meaning those incumbents will have to run against each other. In the Senate map, most of the changes were in eastern and western Kentucky. Due to population shifts, Jefferson County remained the same. Today, we learned not all lawmakers are on board with those changes. And we all feel it. And it's not one party or the other. With these maps, it's personal to some of us how the maps have been redrawn and moved to some precincts, and we feel affected. GOP members say the maps were done within the confines of the state and U.S. Constitution, and Democrats were able to give their input. Understand that, that input was sought. Understand that, yes, this is a difficult process, the most difficult process uh, that, that we have gone through as a legislature, or as a majority. Certainly the, the, the most difficult one I've gone through in this role, um, understanding that it pits friends against each other. Governor Bashir now has 10 days to sign the bills, veto them, or do nothing, meaning they will become law without a signature.